Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well and have recovered from two rocking games yesterday. There was the first game in which T1 totally killed it with Ashdeep Singh as captain, Rabada as vice captain and yes that team was totally on fire and then when I thought that okay we had the best of it already. Mark Wood and Sam Curran had other ideas. I know that this game, even though we swiped mini GLs, did hurt a bit because we had a chance, a genuine chance to hit GL, but Mohin Ali just crashed our party a bit in the end. But yep, that's how the game is, and I hope that we can hit that magical landmark soon. Today, I'm here to preview the Legends game. So the Legends game coming up today and like you can see on the fan to play leaderboard we have many prizes on offer, many Apple flagship products and Amazon gift vouchers. Apart from that if you're signing up from my link in the description you're also eligible for a 1000 Amazon gift voucher in the FCP leaderboard. So if you're joining road safety leaderboard you automatically become eligible to win prizes in the FCP leaderboard too. So example if your rank here is 400. But if there are only 10 people playing from the FCP family and if you are in the top 5 of that, you still get a 1000 Amazon voucher irrespective of your ranking on this leaderboard. So ensure that you join this contest with as many teams as possible, only 3500 spots. And yes, they have some amazing guaranteed contests too, so you must check that out. Now let's look at the Sri Lanka Legends vs West Indies Legends preview for this game. So I'd recommend we have been playing with two teams yesterday but this is not the game where you can play small leagues you should small leagues are what I can say a total red for this game so no small leagues at all you should play only mini GLs and grand leagues for this game and I don't know if I'll be able to cover this final review on, uh, the final team on telegram but I'll tell you guys my thought process. So first up in the keeping section, I think William Perkins is a decent choice. Opal Tharanga is equally good, but his opening position is not a certainty. Until he's not surely opening, it becomes difficult for you to pick him up. From the batting section, I think Asela Gunaratne, if he's batting first and bowling second, can give you a lot of value as he's go he is starting to bowl a bit too. And by starting, I mean that he does bowl a bit in his career, but here he has not bowled in the first half of the tournament. Second batter I think from here would be Kirk Edwards, especially with Brian Lara not available. If Sri Lanka bat first, you'll have to take another batter from Sri Lanka too. Maybe Mahela Odavate is a good choice. Now from the all-rounder section, Sanat Jasuria, Dwayne Smith, both of them pick themselves. Telakaratne Dilshan picks himself and Krishmar Santoki picks himself. I'll be very inclined to go with Dilruan Pereira, especially if Sri Lanka is bowling second. He can have some very good impact for his team. And like you can see, this is helping me also balance stuff out because I have a good amount of all-rounders. I already have a good amount of bowlers too and I'm able to go with just two batters. No need for the third batter on fan to play. Then we look at the bowling section here. I think Isru Udana, if he's bowling first, if Sri Lanka bowling second, then G1 Mendes. So that will be a toss-based choice for you to make. Nuan Kulasekra, if he plays and your last pick would be Suleiman Ben. Now, who are the other options that you can consider? Devendra Bishu if he's bowling second, Darren Powell if he's bowling first, Jerome Taylor if he's bowling first and if you have any toss in information at the toss on the captain that is likely to bowl more because I'm not too sure about his fitness so do keep in mind that if he's fit only then you must go ahead and pick him. Captaincy vice captaincy choices, Tilak Karatne Dilshan will be default captaincy and Dwayne Smith default vice captaincy. Left field choices, Krishmar Santoki if he's bowling first, Jeevan Mendes if he's bowling second and apart from that, Asela Gunaratne if you're confident enough that Sri Lanka might have a mini collapse at the top of the order. So that is my setup for this specific game and I'll just show you the full team preview one so that you have a sure idea. So yeah, this is the full team for this specific game. And yes, they are also covering this game on the Exchange 22 app. So let's look at our options here. On Exchange 22, you are able to go with just one, two, three players, as many as you want. No requirement to make a combination. And hence, you can play selectively here. Now, when we look at the Sri Lankan section, at 66, Tilikaratne Dilshan is very overpriced because even if he hits a 50 and does not take a wicket, or if he hits 30 and he takes a, a wicket, you are still not even reaching cost. So maybe he's a sell candidate, but that is only if you're very confident that he will fail in either one department. Because even if he takes two wickets, but does not get much with the bat, it will be a good sell. 
on the same end if he hits 30 40 runs but does not get a wicket then it's a good sell but if you feel like he's going to hit 40 50 and take two wickets then don't take that chance apart from that i think jivan mendes is a very good buy if he's bowling second isru udana if he's bowling first and nothing much else from the sri lankan section from the west indian section i think kirk edwards is an okay choice if he's batting first one good choice that i really feel here is suleiman ben if he's bowling second because at 26 he looks very reasonable and he has looked in good form with the ball in fact he is someone who i would feel even is worthy for an insurance because he he is that guy who can get three wickets on a good day of bowling and even if he gets two wickets he's going to cross your cost and give you a decent amount of profit so yeah not too much in terms of buys for these games darren powell only if you feel like while bowling first he's going to bowl his full quota but not much else so ensure you play selectively here don't over invest here for this game i'm attaching the app link in the description i hope you all enjoyed this preview hit the like button before you leave and yes i'd like to hear your predictions on who you'll feel would be the highest pointer today maybe dilshan maybe dwayne smith so let me know all your predictions in the comment section and have a good game all the good luck to you